Hello everyone. Welcome to Mathematics Pathshala. Today I will discuss about a problem which came in Sage and Net June 2023 Mathematical Science in Part B and the question ID is 704031. Let's see the problem. Let x equal to x1 to xn and y equal to y1 to yn denote vectors in Rn for a fixed n greater than or equal to 2. Which of the following defines an inner product on Rn? Before starting the problem, let recall the definition of inner product. An inner product on V is a map from V cross V to F with the following four properties. Linearity in first slot, that means inner product of AU plus VB comma W equal to A into inner product of UW plus P into inner product of BW. Okay. This property is broken up to two property. One is the additivity that is U plus V comma W equal to inner product of UW plus VW. Second one is homogeneity that is AU comma V equal to inner product of A into UV for all UV W belongs to V and A belongs to F. Second one is positivity. Second one is positivity. Okay. Inner product of VV greater than equal to zero for all V belongs to V. And the third one is positive definiteness that is inner product of V comma V equal to zero if and only V equal to null vector, zero vector. Fourth one is the conjugate symmetry. That is inner product of UV equal to conjugate of inner product of VU for all UV for all UV belongs to V. Okay. So let's go to the problem. Here we fixed n equal to 2 for the all options. So option 1 will be what? x1, y1 plus x1, y2 plus x2, y1 plus x2, y2. Okay. And the second option be, will be x1 square plus y1 square plus x1 square plus y2 square plus x2 square plus y1 square plus x2 square plus y2 square. So, so it will be 2 into x1 square plus x2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square. Okay. Now the third option will become x1 y1 plus 2 q means 8 x2 y2. Okay. The fourth option will be x1 into y2 minus 1 plus 1 minus x y2 plus x2 y2 minus 2 plus 1. That means y1. That means x2 y1. That means it basically becomes x1 y2 plus x2 y1. Okay. Now we check the positivity and the definiteness for the for the all four option so we have to calculate the inner product of xx for the all option for the first option inner product of x is what we will get x1 square plus x1 x2 plus x2 x1 plus x2 square that is equal to x1 square plus 2x1 x2 plus x2 square that is become x1 plus x2 the whole square that means for the example 1 xx inner product of x is greater than equal to 0 but inner product of xx equal to 0 when x1 equal to minus x2 okay that means if we take x equal to 1 comma minus 1 then 
here product of x x equal to 0 but here x not equal to 0 here x not equal to 0 vector okay that means the definiteness property is not satisfied for the option one so therefore the option was is not in our product so for the option two what do we get x x for the option two two into x one square plus x two square plus x one square plus x two square that is four into x one square plus x two square that is always greater than equal to zero if x x equal to zero that means what we get x one equal to x two both are zero okay even okay if x1 x2 equal to 0 then what do we get x1 x2 equal to 0 that is x equal to null vector okay that means for the example 2 the positivity and the definiteness definiteness property both are satisfied now we check for the option 3 for option 3 what do we get x x equal to null product of x x and I put of x x equal to x1 square plus 8 x2 square. It is also less greater than equal to 0. x x equal to 0 gives x1 equal to x2 equal to 0. That means x equal to null vector. Okay. That means in for the option 3, the positivity and the de definiteness property both are satisfied. Now going to the option 4. What do we get of the option 4? x x x1 x2 plus x2 y1 plus x2 y1. Okay. Sorry x2 not y1 x1. That is what? 2 x1 2 x1 x2. Okay. 2 x1 x2. That can be negative when x1 is negative x2 is positive if i take x1 equal to minus 1 x2 equal to plus 1 so what we get a product of x x equal to minus which is less than 0 but in the form the positivity it is always greater than equal to 0 but here we get negative so positivity positivity is not satisfied for the option 4 so option 4 is false now we check the homogeneity property for the option 2 and option 3 for the option 2, if we go option 2, homogeneity property alpha x y, what we get? 2 into alpha square x1 square, alpha square x2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square. That is not equal to alpha into 2 into x1 square plus x2 square plus y1 square plus y2 square that is not equal to this nah that means that is not equal to alpha into your product of x y that is for the example to homogeneity but is not satisfied therefore option 2 is also is not in our product space so option 3 should be in our product space so we can check the other property for the option 3 it is it is homework for you if you get any difficulty to check the other property please let me know in the comment section i will help you thank you for the watching video if you like if you like this video please subscribe our channel and support us thank you